Hello there, you lovely mother hubbards. This is Chris from Techspert, and welcome to another Techspert Weekly. It's not spreading quite as fast as the coronavirus, but it definitely has a similar effect on the body. Now, this week we'll be covering the biggest tech news, including some great news for Pixel owners and lots of fresh new smartphones from Oppo. And of course, taking a look back at last week's viewer comments as well. So, before I entirely lose the will to live, let's have that jingle. Techspert Weekly. So right back at the start of the week, Oppo launched its fresh new Reno 3 Pro smartphone over in India and hopefully it'll get a European launch at some point as well because it looks like pretty solid value for money. It's a 6.4 inch blower packing the Helio P95 chipset. You get a tasty bit of Gorilla Glass 5 coat in front and back and a 4000 milliamp battery stuffed inside supporting VOOC 4.0 fast charge as well as six cameras in total including a dual lens selfie snapper. Even more exciting however, especially across this side of the ocean was the Oppo Find X2 and Find X2 Pro launch which finally happened this morning after it's postponed because of the whole MWC shenanigans. Now, I was at that launch, but confusingly, I've shot this video ahead of time, so I haven't actually been to the launch yet, but I will have been by the time you actually watch this, so you probably know more than I do. But anyway, the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro both boast Quad HD screens capable of a 120Hz refresh rate, even at that max resolution, unlike Samsung's S20 handsets. And apparently, using the Find X2s will feel just like skinning down a sand dune in a desert with completely unsuitable clothing, just like this chap here. You also get Snapdragon 865 smarts on board, you get full 5G connectivity on the Find X2 as well as that Pro model, and you get the super nippy 65 watt super fast charging as well. So it sounds very similar overall to the Realme X50 Pro 5G, which I unboxed at the end of last week. So go check out my full coverage of the Find X2 smartphones, which hopefully should be going live round about sort of now or early afternoon, if I'm being lured off at the event by free food and beer, which to be fair is a distinct possibility. And also this week, Google unleashed a massive Pixel update for all Pixel owners who have the Pixel 2 upwards, and can I say Pixel anymore in this sentence? Pixel, Pixel, Pixel. This update wedged in a whole heap of new features, including a potentially life-saving tool for car crash victims, improved depth controls for your camera, a bit of automation action, a brilliant change to make Google Pay even easier to use, and loads of other bits and pieces as well. I did a full hands-on tour thing of all of the great Pixel updates on my Pixel 4 smartphones, so go check that out for all you need to know. And now it's time for the part of the show that's about as enjoyable as rolling around in a vat of honey before jumping inside of a bear enclosure. It's viewer comments. Whoop whoop. Viewer comments. <coughs> Do bears actually like honey or is that just like fake news spread around by A.A. Milne? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Answers in the comments below. Uh, so first up, Hisai says, The Sony handset looks by far the most promising amongst all of the Sony phones launched. What do you think about this considering you've already got your hands on this phone? Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a very worthy upgrade over the original Xperia 1. You've got the 5G support in there, the bigger battery, which is a great relief. Um, headphone jack, of course. Um, the, it all boils down to the optics, though. If they can fix the jankiness from the original Xperia 1, the HDR situation, things like that, and make it a really killer smartphone camera, they could be among one of the best flagship phones of the year, especially as they've basically nailed it on the media front. Stevie B says, it's got to be the most well-thought-out jingle and intro to a jingle I've ever seen or heard. Now feature my comment, motherfuckers. Consider it featured, Steve. I'm very flattered that you think I would put any time or effort into that jingle. I actually put more thought into my morning sh** than I did that bloody thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, those high-tech rendered visuals, the uh, fine audio tune and everything. Yes, it's a, it was very time-consuming. Alan says, why not just show another Sony Xperia device instead of blocking the real one? They all bloody look the same. Mmm. Uh, yeah, fair play. I mean, certainly if, as far as the exterior goes, very little has changed for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II uh, beyond the, the camera chassis on the back. Uh, it's all about the internals, baby, and hopefully that's where it counts. Um, but yeah, if you want to know what the Xperia 1 Mark II looks like, just get the Xperia 1 and look at it and kind of squint a bit, and that's pretty much it. Next comment, very pertinent indeed. How many times has somebody asked you for a free phone? Um, I mean, to be honest, you might as well ask me how many times I've scratched my arse. I, I don't know, like uh, once a day, twice a day. I've honestly lost count. And can I just point out again that the majority of the phones that I review do actually come direct from the manufacturer or from a very helpful, kind PR person. They are sh short-term loans and the majority, they, they tend to go straight back again once I'm done with my review. I don't just have a Scrooge McDuck vat of coins that I dive into and then go off buying lots of shiny tech that I can then feature on the video. If I did, I would definitely buy all of you lovely motherfuckers a phone right now. In fact, you know what? I would do the Techspert cruise. I would hire a big ship or 
called Charter, a ship whatever the f*** you do with ships, and uh, take you all out into the Mediterranean and we'd all get slashed and talk about probably not smartphones because that's really dull, we'll find something more exciting to discuss. Although on second thought I've just remembered about the whole coronavirus bullshit and how that hasn't really fared well for cruisers in the recent times, so maybe we won't do a cruise, maybe we won't do a mass gathering, maybe I'll just go off on a ship by myself and just drink myself into oblivion. <sighs> Next comment, so are you doing a follow up on the Mate XS? Shows you pearly whites, the dentist must have done a great job. As luck would have it, I have actually visited the dentist just this morning, so get ready, brace yourself. Yeah, that's some good looking teeth. But guarantee, give it a week or so and it'll just be a yellowy brownish colour again from all the coffee that I chug. Uh, but the Mate XS, yes, I've pestered the Huawei PRs a good couple of times now, uh, asking for that bad boy. In fact, I think a couple of them might watch this show, in which case, Mate XS, Mate XS, woo, subliminal message and send Chris the Mate XS. So as f I'm sure that works. Uh, great video, Chris, really enjoyed it. You're right about Swindon, have you seen the Magic Roundabout? Uh, yes. In fact, I'm going to post up a picture of the Magic Roundabout here for anyone who hasn't got any idea what the hell that thing is. It absolutely breaks my brain that that was even conceived, let alone built. There's probably people who went into that bad boy back in the 70s who are still stuck in the motherfucker right now. Magic roundabout. About as magic as David fucking Blaine, mate. A couple of comments about the northern accent this week. Uh, North accent is amazing. Cheers, Mara. And uh, what part of the north are you from? You sound a lot like my old boss. Uh, well, I'm from Bonnie Sunderland, uh, don't you know? And if you don't know where Sunderland is, it's basically next to Newcastle. And if you don't know where Newcastle is, it's basically north of London somewhere. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, next up, Hey Chris, how's it going mate? Um, I'm absolutely banging, cheers Reno. I uh, hope you're having a good one as well. Are you excited for the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X? Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 both expected before of course Christmas 2020 just in time for all the parents to dish up all that money that they don't have. So you can of course expect your next gen games to look absolutely crazy good thanks to all that Billy Big Bucks technology stuffed in there, a bit of AK resolution action, full ray tracing support of course. It's all about the teraflops way. Hey. Good news is that they're going to be backwards compatible with hopefully the full range of uh, games from the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 respectively. That would be fantastic because it's very, very annoying to build up a big catalogue of titles and then just basically chuck them all in the loft or under the stairs or whatever because you can't bloody use them anymore. Although having said that, the likes of Xbox One Game Pass means that at least, you know, you don't even need to buy that many games anymore. You can just bung a little bit of cash to them every month and then you've got this whole Netflix style world of as many games as you like. You can try them if they're cack, it doesn't really matter. As far as my personal feelings are concerned, I mean, the graphics on the PS4 and the Xbox One are pretty stunning as it is. Anyway, you get some very realistic stuff going on in there, the Call of Duties and all of that. Some of that brain matter looks very, very finely detailed indeed. That's uh, so what I'm actually more intrigued about is the whole VR aspect. Is the new Xbox going to support it? And uh, certainly Sony seems to be supporting it still. Apparently the original PSVR will work just fine with the new uh, PlayStation 5. Will they come up with a PSVR 2? That's what I really want to know. I'd really love the tether-free freedom uh, that you get from the likes of the Oculus Quest, but really tapping into that power of the PS5 for some really incredibly lifelike experiences. Uh, so up, Daniel says, is there ever going to be a Sony Xperia Comp Compact phone. There's some sites showing specs of an XZ4 compact, but number official. I'd love to get my hands on a phone with true one-handed usability across the whole screen. Uh, sadly, I very much doubt it. I was a big fan of those Xperia compacts as well, especially as I've got tiny little hands with stubby little troll fingers. Next up, you will do a Huawei P40 Pro review when it's out, right? Um, yep, yeah, so the P40 series are launching on March the 26th, I believe it is, in Paris. Uh, it's a Thursday. Uh, I'm hoping to be there at the launch, providing live coverage and all that shenanigans, so stay tuned. Uh, you pals with fellow Brits, tech chap or Aspite? Uh, yeah, Tech Chap, or Tom to give him his proper name, I've known him for a good couple of years now, uh, back before I set up TechSpert even, when I was working at Recombu, he was doing the video stuff for Trusted Reviews. Uh, yeah, really nice guy, knows his shit, shared many a beer with him in various countries. Uh, Aspite, uh, I don't think I've met him, although I do tend to meet a lot of random influencer types at these various things, so yeah. And to be honest, they don't tend to hang around the free bar as much as I do, they go for their peppermint, herbal, tea, whatevers. Um, sorry Chris about the eyebrow selfie jibe, the big boys made me do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you off this time then. Uh, I've, I have heard that Nokia are bringing back their Express Music idea. Um, I haven't heard that one, obviously Nokia's been in the news a lot lately, losing its CEO for one. Uh, they've also got a big launch event coming on March the 19th. 
17th as well. It'll be hitting, I think it's about 4 p.m. UK time here. Uh, so stay tuned for a full coverage from that bad boy. We should hopefully be getting a new Nokia 9.2 slash Nokia 10. Hopefully some more affordable handsets as well. So I'll be bringing you full hands-on action of those. All right, not only are we running out of time, but also my smartphone is running out of battery. So big, big thanks to everyone who left a comment uh, last week. Loved pouring through all of those and checking them out. Uh, please do leave comments down below and I'll smash through as many of those as possible next week. Speaking of next week, it's looking pretty quiet. There's no launches or anything scheduled in, so I'll just be smashing through the reviews stock. I've got a big pile of stuff to get through. Uh, so hopefully lots of that shenanigans. Have yourselves a lovely week, people. Don't forget to join me here on my sofa for another dose of quickies next week. Not quickies, Textbook Weekly. Old habits die hard, I guess. Have yourselves a lovely week, people. Uh, cheers. Love you. Bye.